I'm Michael Edwards, uh, born on the 29th of April uh, 1938, years ago, in Barnes in England. Uh, from a very early age, I sort of scribbled poems. Um, they weren't probably any good, but you know, they were necessary because they, were, um, they, they came from what I was and they, were, uh, they seemed to be part of what, it, what living was for me. My first contact with French was uh, when I was 11 and I was taught French at school. Uh, and I was gobsmacked, I think is the, the elegant way of putting it. I was um, amazed and I wondered at the existence of this foreign language and the fact that you could name the world with words that were not English, because for me at 11 this was entirely um, a revelation, because in my family we didn't really um, think about foreign languages. It wasn't a very cultivated family and now I realise what, what an advantage that was, in fact. Um, not cultivated, but they, they pushed me to, to have a good education and in a, in a very good grammar school and then at Cambridge. So my first contact with was uh, at 11 and then gradually at school and then at Christ College, Cambridge, I began to realise that French culture and French literature in particular and the French language had something which, which I needed. So I came to Paris to, do a, to continue my doctorate on Racine. I stayed at the Cité Universitaire, or Cité Internationale Universitaire, as it's now known as. Uh, and that was a very important moment because um, I met French people um, by the dozen. Uh, I was very impressed by the sort of the friendliness of the French and by the ease with which French people moved in, um, in the world of culture. At the end of that first year in Paris, I was supposed to return to Cambridge. That was the rule, as it were. And um, naively, I, I said to um, my supervisor, who was a French woman, Odette de Mourgue, a novelist, um, I said to her, you know, I'd actually quite like to stay on in Paris. So I, I did continue for a year because I felt it was already a sort of second home. Um, I married a French woman. Um, her family are obviously French, and so that from that moment I felt very French. And my whole life has, in fact, been spent between England and France. I, even when I was teaching in England, I was coming across to lecture in France, and then we spent all the holidays over here. Uh, and I suppose the moment that I began to feel not only that France was my home, but that I really was French, was when lecturing in France, I realised that people were ex accepting me as a sort of French person. I was very often talking about French matters, French writers and so on. And, and I began to realise that, you know, I was accepted. I think people are interested in the fact that um, being English and French, because I've taken French na nationality, um, I can represent France and French culture to the British and British culture to the French. And I don't think that there is any, um, any conflict in this. I don't think the French um, believe that I'm a kind of Trojan horse at the Academy, that I'm, I'm there to, um, uh, to push the, the, um, the claims of the English language. On the contrary, I think the, Ac the Academy and the French people in general realise that um, uh, it's actually a very good thing that um, a British person who could have spent his life writing exclusively in the world language, has actually chosen to write mostly, strangely, uh, in French, and that I'm someone who is so taken by the French language that um, at the Academy I shall certainly uh, defend it.